how can I open it? Hi, can we do a venti pink drink? Get anything else? Yeah, can I also do a venti iced Americano with, do you guys do sugar-free caramel sauce? So I only have sugar-free vanilla, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. Let's do sugar-free vanilla. I love Perfect. the color of your car. Thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been looking at, there's like a Honda oh. that's like kind of close to this color. I've seen a bunch of the newer Hondas. They have they like- They have really pretty colors. Like yeah. I like this tan color too that's pretty similar to the like Subaru. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, thank Have you so much, one. you too. I ended up getting my pink drink, I got a really tall one too. And we just made it to the shop. We've been waiting, everybody's been waiting for this day. We're putting a new fuel system in my car, we need a bigger one. If you guys haven't seen the video of me putting this on the dyno and making the sauce, on E85, I highly recommend you go and watch that. And then you're gonna get a better understanding of why we're putting a bigger fuel system in it. We got to pull all of these cars out so we can get Gary on the lift. Taste? <laughs> okay, we got all the cars out of the shop and now we just need to get Barry off the lift. Okay, so while Devin's trying to figure out how to put everything together, which could possibly take a minute just because he's never worked on this system before, I decided to pull in this Evo and I'm actually going to be deep cleaning it for Devin just because I believe he's gonna get ready to sell this soon. So if you guys know anybody who wants to buy an Evo, this one's honestly one of my favorites that's here right now. Let's just appreciate the outside because Devin repainted the whole front end and it looks amazing. But the inside, it's not even that dirty, but we've just never cleaned it since we got it. So it's just time for a, a clean in here. Not too bad. Okay, I don't know if you guys care how I detail my cars, but I feel like the outcome is really good. So I'm just gonna share some tips with you guys. The first thing I do, especially in a car that I haven't touched before, so I don't know what kind of garbage is in it, I go through the whole entire thing, glove box, under the seats, everything, and I get all the garbage out, all the big stuff out. So this is what I found, all the garbage. Most of it came out of here and here. And then that's the stuff we're keeping in the car. But other than that, I pulled the mats out. I'm gonna have to vacuum. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that stain out. After I'm done vacuuming, I go in, wipe everything down, and then vacuum one more time. Degreaser is great for like these hard floor mats. So I'll let these soak. It's been about an hour and a half and I got the whole interior clean. One thing I wish I had was a steamer just because I feel like I could get the seats a lot cleaner that way, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Back seat. I love how these Evo 10s have all black interior. And then this is how this all turned out. Let's go to the other side. Turned out super, super clean. This is like one of the cleanest Evos I've ever got to clean before, if that makes sense. The one thing I don't like about this Evo is it doesn't have OEM floor mats. So I pressure washed these WeatherTech ones and I'm gonna just wipe those off and then this car will be complete. Oh yeah, I forgot one last thing. We gotta make this car smell good. The next morning. Okay, explain what's going on, Devin. So right now, we are doing all the fuel lines. We already got the hanger done with the two fuel pumps. Seeing that we have so much pump, we're gonna need some lines or else that the, all the fuel pumps foil this. If you can't get the fuel to the engine, what's the point of the pump? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So being that we're running 2200s and two 340 LPHs, we're running a dash eight feed, dash six return. We got the fuel filter mounted right there. 
hopefully clear the factory stuff. So like my plan is when all this is done, you won't be able to see any of it because all that stuff goes back on. Perfect. That's what we're after today. All right, thanks honey. Yes. This thing's gonna make 800 on a stock engine. Wow. I forgot to tell you guys, it's actually the next day. We had some difficulties with um, DW sending over some instructions, but we finally got them, so that's why we just decided to work on this today. I am still cleaning Devin's vehicles while he's doing that, so I've made my way to the FRS. I just got done cleaning the interior on this one. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It really wasn't that dirty before, but now it's super clean. We're here at the gym. It's probably 9.30, almost 10 at night. I'm about ready to deadlift and it's gonna be my back day and I haven't taken you guys through a workout with me for a really long time. I wanna show you guys the update of my pull-ups I've been working on. I am going to change really quick into my gym clothes outfit i i always forget where this tank top is from but it's super cute i mainly wanted to show you guys wow these leggings they're flared leggings i've been designing these for alvin wear for all the girls for a very very long time i believe i'm gonna run a light gray pair i feel like maroon is like more fall vibes but you guys these are more for like lounging pants i'm wearing them to the gym just to see how they do just keep that in mind, you girls just know that I'm gonna be launching these soon on Alvinware. Let's get into the workout. I am still using the Wendler's Log. I've showed you guys this for literally years now. I am going to do a warm up. Before this warm up, I actually stretched a little bit and did some shoulder shrugs. And I've also like hurt my shoulders not doing shrugs beforehand. So I did that, I'm gonna warm up. And then my last set, I will actually have Devin record to show you guys how my deadlifts are coming along. I haven't deadlifted for three weeks. Ouch. I slack on deadlifting, I hate doing it. I'm gonna be completely honest, it's not my thing. So we're working with 145, and I'm gonna do as many reps as I can. Oh, you had 20 more in the tank. I know my grip. I should have put powder on. And look at my shin. We're gonna do a superset. So we're gonna do wide grip and then we're gonna come in here and do inside grip. And it's gonna be rotating, so four sets of eight to 12. Superset. Yeah, superset, I mean. Let's rip it. Ooh, look at that strong back. Wow. Nice, big, strong back. Wow. I've been working on pull-ups you guys for so long and I finally got two down it's hard so I'm shooting for three right now all right get behind me let's do this all right run it Come on, Bob. Come on, get up. All the way, all the way, pull, pull, pull. I even kind of jumped on that first one. I didn't appreciate that. We're here at the gas station. We're still not 
done with the fuel system, so we're gonna grab some snacks, probably a protein bar and maybe a drink. But peep the FRS. I ended up getting triple X vitamin water. That's the way to go, but it's the zero calorie one. And then also I got a Quest cookie. These are okay in macros. They're kind of high in fat, but this ought to do for tonight. It is 11 o'clock PM and Devin is he's gonna finish up the whole car. We do not have a base to like a base map for it just yet, but I'm gonna sit here and just chill while Devin finishes that up. One hour later. Update on my STI, Devin had me turn the ignition on just to check for any leaks. A lot leaked. Let me just try to show you guys. That's all leakage right there. But it is 1 a.m. So we're just gonna leave Gary here overnight and we're gonna come here in the morning and figure out how to fix all the leaks. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's just getting too late for us. So I'll catch you guys at the house. Hi, Road. Hi, Goda. For dinner tonight, we are making just our homemade healthy pizza. Ooh, oh. It is 1.21 in the morning right now. That's, I don't know if that's a record. We get home pretty late some nights from the shop, but this is a very late night, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, we will get my car on the dyno soon, and we will get the whole fuel system put on the car, obviously, That'll probably happen tomorrow and I'll record everything. So if you like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.